Join me as I dive into the complex world of Medicare and see if I can make it easy to understand for all you babes out there. We will start our Babes in Medicare series out with the ABCDs of Medicare. Medicare is something we should all be thinking about, regardless of our age. As we get older, it's crucial to have a good understanding of how it works, especially if we have elderly parents or loved ones who rely on it. But it's not just for them, young adults can benefit from learning about Medicare too. By understanding how it works, we can make informed decisions about our healthcare and even help our loved ones navigate the system. I know what you're thinking. Medicare is super confusing and only for old people. But trust me, it's not as scary as it seems. One of the biggest misconceptions about Medicare is that it's only for seniors, but it's also for people with disabilities who are under 65. Another common myth is that Medicare is the same as Medicaid, not true. Medicare is a federal program, while Medicaid is a state-run program for low-income individuals and families. And let's not forget about the alphabet soup of Medicare, parts A, B, C, and D can be really overwhelming, but we'll break it down in a bit. Young adults might think they don't need to worry about Medicare, but the truth is, we never know when we might need it. And let's be real, trying to learn about Medicare can be super intimidating. Where do you even start? It's like trying to drink from a fire hose, right? But the more we know, the more empowered we'll be to make the right decisions for ourselves and our loved ones. So, what's the deal with Medicare's different parts? Part A covers hospital stays, skilled nursing facilities, and hospice care. Part B covers outpatient services like doctor visits and medical equipment. Part C is like an upgrade to original Medicare, offering more flexibility and additional benefits dental and vision. Also Part C usually include Part D as prescription drug coverage. You have Medicare supplemental plans also known as Medigap plans which can be confusing because their plans have letters too like Plan A and Plan G based on cost that they pay for. Medigap plans do not include Part D Medicare have enrollment periods and penalties for enrolling when you should. Also your Part B and D premium depends on your level of income. It's a lot to take in, I know, but understanding these different parts can help you make informed decisions about your healthcare. In conclusion, understanding Medicare is crucial for all of us, regardless of our age or health status. By taking the time to learn about it, we can make informed decisions about our healthcare and even help our loved ones navigate the system. In the next series of videos we will learn how Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement works. We will also learn about Medicare enrollment periods. Don't be afraid to ask questions, do your research, and take control of your healthcare. Look into the future with us. Discover our strategic vision in the Medicare Babe series roadmap that guides your learning towards understanding Medicare.